by an overview of these five primary emotions, as you've seen, then here we have the states of our emotions. So the states of anger. No listening, only talking. I recently realized that I've been living in SF for like three years now. And while that's been a great boon for my landlord, who gets way too much of my money every month, I haven't really been leveraging that fact. All I ever do is like go to work, spend my day at the office. It's not really leveraging the fact that I'm living in the tech, cap tech capital of the world. So I'm gonna try to go to one meetup every month, at least one meetup every month and I'm gonna vlog about it. Today I'm going to a D3 meetup where we're gonna see a presentation from somebody who designed and created a... It's an emotions visualization for the Dalai Lama. Something about the different types of categories of emotion. And what I like about the D3 meetups is that afterwards, after the official presentation is done, they have a show and tell. The cool thing about today's excursion is that I'm also getting in a really nice walk on the Embarcadero and I have enough time to pick up some bread at my favorite bakery in the... What's it called? In the ferry building. You might not know this, but American bread is terrible and Acme is pretty much the only place you can get semi-decent bread at. Now that I have some bread, I'm gonna go get some Starbucks as well because there's still plenty of time before the meetup begins. Of course, I thought there was plenty of time, but now I'm late. So I'm probably gonna miss all of the mingling before the actual event starts, so I guess if the goal of this meetup is to meet new people and have some fun and get connected to the community, I think I've already failed. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay for the post-talk hangout session or for the show and tell. What did I learn today? Well, one thing I learned is don't be late for meetups because you will miss out on all the fun stuff, which is the, the so-called hallway track where you hang out with people and, and talk to them. So I missed out on that. But the actual talk was really interesting because they talked about this thing called an emotional atlas where they showed up like visualizations of different emotions that we feel and uh, I don't actually know if it's any use it didn't seem that useful but it was very beautiful so the idea is that we all feel the same emotions from similar triggers but what's different culturally is whether we have the words for those emotions and whether we know what triggers them so like different things trigger different emotions in no that's wrong basically we all feel the same emotions and the same range of emotions regardless of where in the world you are regardless of your personal experiences and stuff what's different is how you respond to those emotions so whether you're angry you can do, do something constructive something destructive and so on and another difference is that we have different words for our emotion um what else i don't actually know it was an interesting talk but i'm not sure i actually learned that much it was very beautiful though and oh and i like the part where the regenerative art is where you get data and you generate your art and arrangement art i don't know if that's the real word for it but the idea is that you can have you can generate your visualization from data or you can just arrange it you can know the data and you then arrange something that looks good and represents that knowledge i think that was pretty interesting